If you were not to be judged or if you were not hard on yourself, what kind of project would you start right away? Hi and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Iris and on this channel we talk about all things career and leadership development. In today's video, I want to share with you five things that you can do to get any project started. Uh, the first thing that I want to say is take it off your head and put it on a paper. I think most of us are ambitious and uh, we like to have many ideas, innovative ideas, and sometimes we fail to put it on a paper and that's how we fail to make um, concrete uh, action plans to make it happen. So any time, for instance, I personally get an idea, and that could be every two minutes, perhaps, I try to um, continue telling myself, this is how I would do it, this is how I would do it. And I, th and I find out that it's not productive because you have a lot of thinking and you have a lot of wishful thoughts, which you need to stop actually and be practical. So if you want to get anything started, instead of thinking about it, get a pen, get a phone, do something or put it down. Putting it down is going to help you actually start breaking it down in small actionable steps that you can take to make it happen. Since we're still here, I'm gonna take two seconds to let you write down your own idea so that you can actually get started. Tip number two is uh, every time you feel like you're stuck on a project and you want to get started, you want to keep going, I would advise that you block 30 to 60 minutes every single day to work on your personal project. And the reason I say this is because uh, most of us, when we, uh, we're busy working on our own jobs and we forget sometimes the projects that are dear to our hearts or our passion. So imagine if you would block 30 minutes every single day or 60 minutes every single day to work on a project that's dear to you. That will help you actually move forward and it would help you do more uh, with the little time that you have in your day. But investing it, uh, investing that time in, your, in doing something that is important to you uh, will help you get there. The goal is to not just uh, get good, but get going. You need to start doing something so that you can be good at whatever you want to do. Um, the third, tip I would like to do is share it with an accountability partner. Life can get tough and when you have ideas, projects, amazing projects that you want to achieve, sometimes all you need is a little push, an extra push from what I like to say, um, an executive committee or advisory committee. These are people, friends, colleagues, co-workers that you trust, that you feel can give you an, a value to your projects. So have an accountability partner and let them keep you accountable for achieving your milestone. I'll give you an example. Let's say, for instance, you want uh, to start writing a book and you tell yourself, uh, this accountability partner is going to help me write my first chapter and set deadlines for yourself and let your accountability partner know what is going to be your deadline and make sure that this accountability partner is someone you trust is someone who wants your uh, success that is not going uh, to not follow up with you and make sure that you actually respect your accountability partner it doesn't have to be someone that you're going to be uh, flexible or easy going with and give an excuse no, you want to have the most serious uh, person around as your accountability partner. The fourth thing that you need to do is start where you are. Uh, the biggest challenge I think to getting started in a project is wanting it to be perfect. And this is something that happens to all of us, mostly myself. I know I get tough on me. Uh, I don't want to start anything unless I know it's ready. And there is a difference be between uh, getting started uh, because you want everything to be perfect and actually doing the work and getting perfect as you go along, which actually brings me to the last and final uh, tip for you to start any project you may have. It's very important to uh, not be afraid to have um, little success at the beginning and just have humble beginnings. It means that uh, you are sure that why you deliver uh, an excellent job, you are not pursuing the unattainable, which is 
really perfectionism. And uh, if you are a perfectionist uh, or recovering perfectionist like me, you know that if um, any work is not uh, ready to be seen by the world because it's not perfect, you will never put it out. So I want to challenge you actually. Tell me um, if you were not to be judged or if you are not hard on yourself, what kind of project would you start right away? Reflect on it for a minute and reflect on what is it that stops you from getting started. And actually tell me in the comment below uh, where is, why you are not starting. What kind of help would you like? Is it an accountability partner that you're missing? Is it not, that you're not serious with the idea of putting it on a paper and coming up with an action plan? Is it that you're too much of a perfectionist that you want anything that you do to be excellent, perfect? Uh, tell me in the comment below uh, to get started is the biggest challenge. Once you start, you realize that you actually get good. So if you can get past the start, uh, I think you're going to do excellent. You're going to grow in the process and you're going to realize that what the project was about is the change that you go through actually in the process of making it happen. So um, I want to encourage you to start your project. I want to say that I believe in you. Uh, so keep going, keep growing. You got this. Thank you.